Hi everyone and welcome to Zen Within Me. If you're a new subscriber or watcher, welcome. And to my regulars, welcome back. Okay, so this video is going to be for Gemini for this week, the 11th to the 16th. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, universal messages do you have? For Gemini this week, what's going on with Gemini that they need to know? June 11th to the 16th, 2019 from the rising. What's going on? Okay, we have the High Priestess crossed by the Sun. Page of Wands, okay, communication basis. Okay. Okay. Hold up. With King Noah. Ooh, okay. Okay. What's going on with Gemini this week? Okay. Judgment. Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Wands. And Three of Wands in the outcome. Okay. get into it. Okay, so the first card is the High Priestess. Okay, the High Priestess is, could be um, you being intuitive, Gemini. Um, it could be you have secrets or secrets are being revealed or more needs to happen about a situation, which may be why you're kind of going with your intuition. Okay, it's crossed by the sun, which the sun is a very good card. It's like one of the best cards in the deck. Um, it could be a joyous union. It could be happiness, success, prosperity, good health. Just anything positive is the sun. Okay. So let's see. Okay, and the basis is the page of wands, which could be a phone call communication in any form. It could be a letter, an email, a text, um, something you heard, word of mouth. Okay, so let's see. So with the High Priestess here, hmm, it could be maybe You, it was like un, something's unknown to you. That's why more needs to happen. Um, that's why you feel there's some kind of secrets. Okay, so there's something unknown. So you, you've just been going with your intuition about it. Um, but it, but you have good thoughts. Okay, and it could be about being the basis as a phone call. It could be about a phone call or a text that you got or an email or any form of communication like I said before. Okay, so in the recent past, we have the Two of Cups. So maybe you were in a relationship not too long ago and you're not anymore. 
um, or maybe you wanted to be in a relationship with someone and it just didn't happen. So the Two of Cups is in the past, the recent past. Your crowning thoughts are the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups could be uh, memories of the past, past situations resurfacing. It could be an ex coming back. So being that this is in your thoughts and you have the communication here in the basis, maybe, maybe you got or will get some communication from an ex, which makes sense because that is the Two of Cups in the past. Okay. And there was just maybe something that you weren't sure of as far as the relationship went, but uh, it still made you happy. You were still in a good place, you know. Okay, so let's see. Maybe this person reached out from your past and they're on your mind. Maybe you haven't reached out back yet and you're just trying to, in the near future, the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is moving towards your goals. It could be partnerships, collaborations, negotiations. Um, so in the near future, you may be reaching out to this person. Maybe you're going to give them a call back and get together, you know, since they had reached out and called you. So of course, if an ex calls you, more than likely they're going to want to get together and chat, hang out, whatever. So you're probably like, okay, yeah, you know, you're feeling good about it. You know, you're maybe a little unsure, you know, and, but still feeling good about it. And, uh, so yeah, you're going to go towards it. You're going to allow it, set up a, a date. Okay. Now you're viewing the situation as, as a whole with the judgment card. Okay, judgment, don't mind my clock. Judgment could be a rebirth in your favor, dormant matters coming back to life, or karma. So I would say be, being that this is based on an ex um, could be a rebirth in your favor, which is why you have the sun, you're excited about it, you're happy with this person, even though there was something a little off Maybe, maybe it never got to run its course. Doesn't mean that you did date and it went to a bad place. Just maybe, you know, you guys started but didn't get to finish, you know. Uh, so anyway, back to judgment. It could be a rebirth in your favor. Dormant matters coming back to life, right? And so you're thinking, well, maybe, okay, maybe we can have another chance. Maybe I'll go towards this person, negotiate a date, and see what happens since they had contacted me. And you are thinking about it, the relationship, them, all of that. Okay. And, you know, being that you have the sun, it wasn't awful, so why not, you know? I, I don't see any bad cards here. Everything looks really good. The next card is your environment, or how others may view the situation and you have the wheel of fortune now this is a good card also it's destiny change for the better it could be the ending of a cycle so maybe this person when you get together is going to tell you things that they didn't tell you before okay secrets will be revealed and it will be changed for the better because it's destiny. Maybe they are going to tell you, well, I, I had to complete a cycle so I can start a new one with you. You know, maybe they were going through something. There's plenty of reasons. You know, you just take what resonates with you. Okay? But it's it's good. Okay. In, in the hopes and fears category, we have Knight of Wands. I mean, the Knight of Wands is good because... Um, it shows someone entering your life or departing. It could be a change of residence as well. So in your hopes, it could be that you were hoping they would come back and they reached out and called. So that's good. And in your fears, it could be 
you just feared them not coming back. That's why it's good to have the hopes and the fears. This covers either side with someone either coming or going, or it could be that they are, they've always been in and out of your life, and that's why this really didn't get to take off in the recent past, you know, and that's what may have been off. Maybe they were in and out of your life without explanations, and you're like, you know, I'm having a great time, and I enjoy this person's company, but what the hell? What's, what's with the in and out, you know? And uh, you're fearing that they're going to start that crap again. Okay, and the outcome, we have the Three of Wands. Now, Three of Wands is ongoing progress. So this is a good card for you to have in your outcome. So I would say that this person is not going to be in and out. They have finally dealt with whatever it is that they had to deal with so that they can be ongoing with you. Okay, so that's what I see for you, Gemini, for this week. Pretty cut and dry to me. Let's see, let's get some crystal messages for you. What messages do the crystals have for you, Gemini, for this week, the 11th to the 16th? What messages do the crystals have for you? Okay, one more. Okay. Forgiveness. Pink tourmaline. Okay. Okay, so maybe this person from your past, okay, your ex that you're thinking about, that reached out to you, what did I say, change for the better, has changed for the better, okay, has completed whatever cycles they needed to complete because they feel it's, this relationship is destined as well. And they're ready to face the judgment to have that rebirth in your favor, okay? They're ready to tell you the truth about all the questions you had, everything you were curious about, you know, the things maybe they weren't up front with for whatever reason, okay? And you're going to forgive because you do care about this person. And they're going to ask to be forgiven as well. Okay, any other messages from the crystals for Gemini for this week? Cycles. Cycles. Completion of a cycle could be the beginning of a new one. Okay. So this, I love these cards. They're just so beautiful. Look at this. Just the coloring and the stones. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So you guys are going to talk. This person is going to ask for forgiveness. You're going to behave compassionately. And you guys are going to start a new cycle. Okay. This is beautiful. All right, Gemini. Please uh, let me know if this resonated with you. Of course, it's not going to resonate for every Gemini. Or maybe the next video will. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I appreciate everyone that is already a subscriber. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Peace, love. And I will see you in the next video.